Hi there, my name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss an equation for the force of gravity. So, we have some object that is being thrown up into the air, and what we would like is an equation for the height of that projectile above the ground as a function of time that takes into account the force of gravity. We'll call this equation h of t for height as a function of time. And this is assuming that the object is being thrown on Earth. This is given by negative g over 2 times t squared. We'll discuss what g is in just a second. Plus the initial velocity of the object times t. Label this initial velocity. plus the initial height, which can be simply thought of as the distance above the ground that the object was tossed from. So here, the value of g depends on the units that you're using. If you were discussing it in meters per second, then this is 4.9 meters per second. If, on the other hand, you're using feet, then this is generally given as 16 feet per second. Though, of course, both of these quantities are just approximations. So, depending on whichever units you're using, you just plug in this value of g into our equation here, and then you can use that to solve for the exact height of an object depending on the time since it was tossed. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed an equation for the force of gravity.